This is just a, I believe a nine inch balloon. You can either use a seven or a nine inch. A 12 inch is a little bit too large. I better give that another minute before I do that. Maybe we'll go ahead and cut the fins out while this, while the glue is setting up here. And uh, I need a styrofoam plate. Uh, we'll make the little fins out of a styrofoam plate. <coughs> we can make them this size if we like. I'll go ahead and cut one of these out and and just make it this size. Now the fin serves uh, one primary purpose, and that is to hold the balloon in the center. Uh, if the balloon gets off center, these things will just go in circles. So when the balloon is inflated, it goes between the two fins. So I'll draw a couple of these uh, these fins on here, and uh, again, they don't have to be exactly the right size. Their primary purpose is to hold the balloon in the center. Secondary purpose is so it looks like it like they do something. So it looks like they make the the whole thing. Uh, stable in, di in directional stability. Should be dry enough now where we can stretch the balloon over it. And once again, sometimes this may take a second hand, but I'm going to attempt it by myself the first time here. And it looks like it works a lot better stretching it over the rigid foam. And of course, I want to center it up. So, see, right now the balloon is a little bit high. I'm just going to try to take a little bit of balloon material away from the top here get it so that it blows right through the center of the straw. Okay, now it's looking pretty good. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna mount it up by using again the low temp glue gun. I want to be sure I don't get any glue below the surface. I'm gonna start off with just a little bit of glue and uh, hold it in place until it sets up easy. Uh, okay, now I'm going to put a little glue around the edge of the rest of the straw here so that the air doesn't leak out. Give that a little bit of time to set up. And once again, I've got to be sure that I'm not having anything below the surface. Got to get rid of these strings of glue also. That glue wasn't quite dry yet. It takes a few seconds for it to dry. Be sure that you mount it perfectly straight too. You can see that glue is not dry yet, so you want to have it aiming straight front to the back. Now we can go ahead and mount the fins while that glue is drying. Put them all the way at the back. When the balloon inflates it gets larger. That glue is taking a little bit of time to set up. I put it on pretty thick. But we'll just be patient with it and wait for it to set up. If you put it on thin, it dries pretty quick. Like on these fins here, it's dry just about as quick as I put it on. But up here, it's, it's, it's almost dry. To inflate it, um, if more than one person is going to be using the same vehicle, you can take the part of the straw that you uh, cut off and uh, you can bend it down just a little bit, maybe put a little bit of glue on that, and that way we can insert it into the bottom to inflate it if more than one person is going to use the same, the same vehicle. If you're doing it by yourself, you can pretty much just bring it up to your lips. And then hold it pinched while you set it down on the on the surface. <clears throat> if you build one right, be sure that there's no uh, there's no <clears throat> dirt on the surface that you're going to run on. But you should be able to run up to 30 feet of distance with it. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> if it turns one way or the other, be sure this is straight. Be sure that there's nothing on the bottom, nothing sticking down below the surface. Make sure you get rid of all the little strings of glue, because when you use this glue, it ends up with little spider web kind of strings. Um, <clears throat> also, be sure that the balloon is mounted straight. 
Um, if it still turns, it may be that the, it, you'll have to look at the bottom and see if there's any warp on it. If there's any warp, you can straighten it out just by giving it a little bend. That's it. Have a lot of fun with it. Try different size balloons. Um, make sure the surface that you run on is clean. Keep experimenting.